This is my video walkthrough for Module 2, Java Classes. My, I did Public Class Customer, as as the name of the class, and the diagram name, as you can see. And my strings, they're all private. That is because in, in the diagram, they're all minuses, and that, signify, that signifies they're all private. The pluses signify that they're all public. And so I did first name, last name, address, email, phone number, and attributes. In the default constructor, you can see public customer as I have the name of the of the class. And then the first name equals quotation mark, empty quotation marks in the semicolon. And the reason I did empty quotation marks is that signifies that there is nothing in the entered in the fields. But that it, it can be changed to anything at any time. Public string, I did get first name for the methods, and then I did return first name, and then I did public void set first name string, which is important, and then first name, and then I did this dot first name equals first name, and then I did the same as you can see. Public string get last name, turn last name, public void set last name, string last name, this dot last name equals last name, and public string get address, and I did do the parentheses right here for every single one, and this empty parentheses signifies that there is no value entered, but there, will, there can be value entered at any time. And then I do the same for set address as the rest of them. Get email, set email, get phone number, set phone number. And then I did service, public class service. I did private string for service type and service description. Private double is a service cost because double is money amount. Even though the money amount can change from time to time, it is still a double. And I default insert for public service. I did same for service type, service description, for strings, and then service cost is 0.0. .0. Did the generic default double amount, signifying money amount, and public string. And then I did, as I've been doing, the same. Public void is the same for, and then public string, public void, the same as I've done for other. Other voids and other strings. Then, for a private public double, I did public double get service cost, return service cost, and then I did public void set service cost. And instead of string, I did double. So basically, instead of string, I did double. And then in public class set, I did attributes private customer, customer. In private service, and it services just like all the other ones. Except, yep, and I did, except I did plural services and with service as an array. As, yep, and then I did public sign up, and then I did customer null and services null. And the reason I did null is because there's no values entered. For customer or services, and there's just generic default values entered or no value entered at all. And obviously, that would be, not be null when there is um, values entered. And then I did public customer get customer, and then we did return customer, like white set customer. And then instead of string, I did customer, customer, and then array public service with the array. Get services, return services, public void set services, and add service with the array, and services, and this services, this dot services equals services. So, that is my three classes for Java classes.